this is a professional chorus, but primarily if you look at the 80 odd members who make up the complete chorus, they do it because they love it. And it tells, it, you know, you will hear it in the recording, you see it on the stage, you hear it on the stage. And it's just that joy of doing something that they do extremely well for a public on each and every occasion they get the opportunity. The type of voices you find in concert choirs or community choirs or any sorts of radio or uh, broadcast choirs is different to the voices you have in an opera choir because uh, the, the requirements are completely different. Yeah? On stage um, with a large orchestra, often at the back of the stage, you need bigger voices more dramatic voices. That's the first difference, so the sound of an opera chorus is different from the start. And secondly, um, if you have a chorus who used to sing this repertoire on stage, they know more than just this bit of the opera. They don't more than just Va Pensiero. They know Nabucco from the beginning to the end. And they used to be part of the performance, part of the story, part of the dramatic action. And this gives them, of course, just so much more meaning in uh, what they do with this excerpt of an opera. I think the thing I love about the, the chorus the most is when they're on stage and they've just finished a big performance of uh, Verdi's Nabucco or, or Lu, Lu, Lucia de Lundemore, for example, and the audience, when the chorus get the opportunity to take their bow, just go bananas. And to see their faces of appreciation uh, and to see the, the chorus in particular and the way that they feel that that's what it's all about, that's why they do this, that's why they sacrifice all this time. Uh, to get this, these accolades from the, from the public. That, that to me is very heartwarming. I just did a new production of Nabucco in Graz in my opera house and thought, yeah, it's one of the most pop popular pieces, but it's right that it's that way because the thing that Verdi, when he was young, and Nabucco was his third opera, just got the idea for such a beautiful, perfect piece of music. Yeah, that's, it's right that it's that popular. I have to say that somehow there's something in the Queensland atmosphere that creates wonderful voices. I think we box way, way over our weight. Um, we've got 19% of the population, but I suspect we have something like 60% of the singers. Don't quote me. We've really taken it to, to it with a, a, a great deal of energy and enthusiasm and uh, you know, the rehearsal period has been right over the Christmas holiday break and uh, they've, they've had to put in a lot of, of work uh, because as you know, some of these pieces are very, very big chorus pieces and some of them they've never performed before as well. So uh, no, they've had to put a lot of hard work in and, and they are just so excited in the recording studio to, to be able to get this opportunity to finally get the Opera Queensland voice, as it were, chorus voice on tape. anyone <laughs> listening to, to those beautiful choruses and be not, be not moved or touched or touched by the beauty of music and the greatness can, can I say so yeah greatness or under the, yeah the glory of, of great opera 
music. Nothing, nothing. 